So we are back for another video. Today we have the Nitro Deck by Crack. This would fit both your Switch and your OLED. This is their limited edition classic gray, more like a nostalgic look like the SNES. Hall effects thumbsticks, you don't have to worry about stick drift. It's a direct connect, you don't have to worry about that much of a delay or have ultra low latency. Thumbstick toppers, you can swap them in case it gets worn out. Customize your buttons and it also has motion and gyro control. We got for around $89. We we'll put a link down below. Here's your barcode or serial number. So let's err it up. Just wanted to show the packaging real quick. You got the classic gray. This would fit both Switch and OLED. Here's a view on the back. The stuff that it comes with. You got the carry case. You got the handheld. It has Hall Effect thumbsticks. Motion vibration support. Let's take out the carry case. Man, it looks nice. I like it. So you have that nylon, kind of like your backpack cloth in here, or kind of fabric. And that's what it's wrapped with all over the case. It's also, it's hard, so it'll protect your nitro deck. You got two zippers. This is for your shoulder strap. And you have a handle. Take this out. I believe this is the strap. Nice long nylon straps with your clips. Open the case. And you got that crack logo in the middle. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This one out. This one is your US. Whoa. You have your USB A, USB C cable that's braided. It's eight feet long. Microfiber cloth with the Nitro Deck name. Thumbstick toppers. A little bit more concave. Looks like we have manuals here. Your user guide. Then we have the handheld deck. It's actually fairly light. I figure it'll be a little bit more heavy. We'll go ahead and weigh that later. This is made out of plastic. You have the purple and gray combination, the classic edition. This reminds me of our SNES, the console that I pretty much played with back in the days. So that's why I picked this one. And they have other two. They have the mint and the GameCube color combination. Let us know in the comments below which color would you choose. You have your X, Y, B, and A. I mean, it feels okay. Minus and plus. You got the capture and home button. D-pad. Feels okay. And your Hall Effects thumbstick. You don't have to worry about drift. Let's go ahead and take out one at the top. Pull it out. And let us know which one you prefer more, more of a concave or more like kind of sticking out. Just push it in. There you go. So if it ever wears out on you, you can always get new ones. You can buy it on their website. We have the shoulder buttons L and R. I mean, it's okay. Z, L, and Z R trigger buttons. In the back, you got the S1 and S4 mappable buttons. It is nicely placed. It just goes right on my finger. On the opposite side, you have this texture here. You have the crack logo. Also on the other side. And you have that pinhole for the reset button. The program button and the RFID touch point, And you have a nice stand here. Just pop it out. Oh, that's a little bit hard. Oh, there you go. Let's try that again. Maybe it's just hard the first time. So it's just a little bit hard in the beginning. But once you start opening it, it's, it's okay. We pop this out, use it as a stand. It's pretty stiff. You have the lock or the lever to lock in your switch or your OLED, and you got cutouts here for the speaker. Input and output to charge it, also use it as wireless. So let's go ahead and get our switch. So before you do that, go ahead into the settings. This microfiber comes in handy. Let's go ahead and clean our screen first. Turn it on. Go to your settings. Scroll all the way down, go to controllers and sensor, move up a little bit, pro control wild communication, turn that on, go OK. Take this sticker off, hopefully it doesn't leave any residue. I'd rather would have them not do this. That's what I was a little worried about with that sticker on, you're leaving some residue here. So I'm going to have to try to wipe this so it doesn't get on a switch. So after scrubbing, after scrub, I finally got that residue off. So hopefully in the future, they don't need that sticker. It's just too much. More of a hassle cleaning it. You have the USB-C to connect it at the bottom. And this backsplash here is not supposed to scratch your switch or your OLED. Also has rails on each side to kind of help it too. Go ahead and slowly put it in still. Slides like a glove. Nice and tight fit with that click. You don't have to worry about this falling. 
And if you want to release it, just pull up or push up. Looks like it didn't scratch. Let's go ahead and put it back in. Feels good on the hand and fingers. A lot more ergonomic than the Joy-Cons. Just look at how much more thick that is. Before we turn on the switch, let's go ahead and take a look at the carry case. I really like this, how it's really custom fit in there. You got the thumbstick holes. Also, the shoulder buttons and the trigger fits exactly in there. So let's put it in. Look at that. Snug fit. And you do have game card slots. You have a flap here that protects your screen as well. You got eight of them that you could put in. And it's elastic so you can stretch out. There. Small mesh pocket. You could probably put in your cable, your eight feet cable. If you want to bring in your topper, squeeze this in here too. Put it close. There you go. Zip it up. Go. If you want to use a strap, pop this in. There. Open it up. I do like how it's uh, fitted in there. It's a nice fitting case. Now this is extra. We got the limited edition that comes with it. If you just want to buy the handheld, it's fifty nine, and if you want the whole thing, it's eighty nine dollars. Let's turn on our switch. Alright, we're paired. Looks like you have a purple light at the bottom for the home screen. With that direct connect, you have ultra low latency. Let's try the program button. I want to assign this button. I want it to jump and fireball. So all you have to do is press the programming button till it turns purple. It's flashing. Go ahead and jump and purple and assign it to this button. So every time I press it, it should jump and fireball jump and fireball so let's just say i want to clear it you know what i accidentally press it sometimes when i'm playing i press these i don't want it. i just want it fully disabled so all you have to do is just hold the program button until it starts flashing purple just keep holding it holding it holding it it's solid purple and then white and then now all buttons are disabled so you don't have to press it or you don't have to accidentally press it and then it's gonna do all those moves not gonna do anything and if you want to restore everything at default just kind of like when you open the box or open the handheld deck press the program button okay once it starts flashing purple and it's solid purple just go ahead and let go and then now it's back to default remember the zr is the same as the s1 and the r is the same as s2 same for the other side so that's the default and if you want to just disable it again just show you one more time go ahead and click the program button in the back just hold on to it just keep holding don't even let go until solid until it turns white now it's fully disabled let's try the turbo so the way to do it click the minus sign and the zl in the back until it turns green that's the speed you can make it go fast or slow by doing that it's just click plus to make it fast and it will vibrate to its maximum and if you want it slow once it vibrates that's the slowest so let's go ahead turbo the shield press this button turn solid green so once you click this let's make it go faster click minus and zl once it's blinking go ahead and click up all the way to maximum you have the vibrating going on You'll click the shield. Now it's turboed all the way compared to when it's low. And if you don't want the turbo anymore, just go ahead and click the ZL and minus again. It'll turn white. Then you're good. Oh man, I got dizzy. Now, if you want to turn off the light on your crack button or you want it just a little bit dim, all you got to do is just click the program button, dim it until it turns all the way off, brightest, medium, low, off. Now, the vibration on this is not HD rumble. I mean, it's okay. Also, it has gyro. Toss this. Oh, I missed. It's not as strong. It's kind of like your Joy-Cons, if you can hear that. Let's just show you with the kickstand. Pop it open.
doesn't go quite as high even if you have it all the way this way up this way that's pretty much that's the angles you can get max it out for yeah now if you want to charge it just go ahead and put it the input device it should charge there you go and the output is if you want to use this as a wired controller take off your switch plug in our switch get your wires but since we have one here already i'll just use this one go ahead and plug it in the output for some reason it's not working on this wire let's go ahead and use cracks plug it connect it oh that's our fault so you gotta press the l3 and r3 so click the thumbstick until it turns orange for three seconds there you go, now we're wired. Now we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and check the crack app just to see how rare mines is. Go scan the QR code, get the app, sign up, click next. Alright, see it? Alright. Which one do you think I have? A silver, a diamond, or the rarest, a crack? Uh, let's just probably got the silver one. Let's see. Well, at least I got the diamond. Not the rarest, but at least not the silver. Which one did you get? Now you see all my device. I only have one so far. You got the shopping. You don't need to see that. You got videos on setups, socials, and of course your account. As far as the weight goes, just weight. This one weighs at 268 grams. You have your controller here, my MOBA pad. That one's 218, 220. I believe this one's a little bit heavier, but 8 bit due. 248. Now, if you just bought the handheld deck now with the carry case, let's see if it fits in these other ones. Skull and Co. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Well, it still fits, but this gets in the way. Let's try doing it upside down. I mean, <laughs> the issue is you have this, it's pushing it out forward. I mean, it's it still closes, but a bit tight, so it still fits. Kind of presses on your screen though. See how this folds? So. It's up to you. The legs okay, plenty of space, it's just at that top part. Let's try the mambas. Put it in. Oh nice, this one fits just right. I mean you have a little bit of space. I believe you have enough clearance there. So go ahead and close it. Oh wait, actually it's a little bit tight. I mean it still works but it's getting caught. So it's still getting caught here. It's just this, this big piece here that's kind of getting in the way. And you squeeze it, I mean, it's a little hard. I mean, it still closes. If you don't mind that, it will work. Let's flip it upside down. Maybe that will give it a better clearance. Oh yeah, so that's better. If you want to just use the mambas, just put it upside down. It gets kind of pinched on the flap, that's why. So this one's okay. If you have that little bulge in the back, this one's okay. See, it's not even clicking the, the thumbsticks. Yeah, this case is about similar, the length and also the height. So it's not really going to work with the Skull & Co because this gets in the way. We'll put a link below if you want to check out this carry case. So that's your limited edition Nitro Deck Bike Rack. Comes with a thumbsticks with a snug fit carry case with a handle and a shoulder strap, 8 card game slot, a mesh pocket, no protection and dust, scratch and drops. With Hall Effect Thumbstick, you don't have to worry about drift, vibration and gyro control, ergonomic grips with mappable buttons. We got for around $89, we'll put a link down below so let us know which one you use. So let's hurry it up to another video.